What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it a great? That's what we do on this channel every week. This week we're making pumpkin topiaries. Yep, mine's gonna be a farmhouse look, very classic looking. And I don't know what he's making, but it's a versus challenge, and you can tell us which one you like better. We picked up these pumpkins at Michael's, and we picked up these candy buckets at Target, and this urn from Lowe's. Three tier, we're gonna start with our base tier, which we're not using the smiley faces. It's gonna look like this. Step one, we're gonna Paint our big pumpkins. Oh, you're Mod Podge in yours. Yes, I'm wrapping my bottom pumpkin. Ooh, it's echoing off the plastic. I'm wrapping my bottom pumpkin in burlap. And you are? I'm gonna take a bunch of these vinyl little polka dots we cut out on the Cricut. Throw them on here randomly. Spray paint it black. All right, black and orange polka dot. Black and orange polka dot. Step one for me, I'm gonna cover this thing in Mod Podge and add these burlap strips. Step two, we do the middle pumpkins. I'm just gonna paint mine black and white stripes. She's getting all crazy with some Mod Podge and um, copper foil. Copper foil. Which Ooh. I've never done Good luck copper here. foil. What is it called? Go copper leaf. I've never done that before, so. I'm just gonna tape mine off. Okay, for mine, it says to let the glue dry some and get tacky. So I'm trying to quickly put this on so it'll start to dry and get tacky. Oh, so tacky. So tacky. <laughs> Going in with some black chalk paint. Maybe you guys know how to do this, but I have not done it before, so we will just see how it goes. Oh, I have, how many sheets do I have? All right, so let's set it aside and let it dry. Yes. Pumpkin number three. I'm gonna make mine all diamond-esque using this sponge that I cut up into a diamond. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to simply, I want to keep mine cream colored, so I'm gonna dry brush, at least I think I am, some of this Martha Stewart metallic copper paint onto my pumpkin.
Plan B. So I tried the diamond sponge trick and it wasn't a trick, it didn't work. <laughs> it wasn't a trick. And then when I tried to wipe it off, it got all muddy and cloudy and gray. So I painted it orange and I cut out some diamonds on the Cricut and I'm going to put vinyl diamonds on it. New, new and improved plan. New and That's improved. what it is. All right, new and approved. <laughs> Take a little longer. I will help you with the diamonds. All right, first thing I'm going to find the center. Oh, you have a plan. I have a plan. Pumpkin is all done, I'm leaving it for now. I'm gonna pull the tape off of my other two pumpkins. If you guys like what we do, go ahead and hit that like button. I think I got this. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment about what you like about our videos. Leave a comment about what you don't like about our videos. It's like a strip tease. I take a sticker off. I asked them to do something. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this one. See. Bam! Tiger stripes. Tiger style. <laughs> Step four. We're gonna prep the base. Get this thing all ready to hold three bomb pumpkins. We measured the inside, so I cut these two support brackets that I'm gonna lay together with this pole. I'm gonna stick the pole in there and put these in here like so. Should hold it all sturdy. All right, we're just gonna glue them together. Hit it with an inch and a quarter bread. The nail, not the guy. Poor bread. <laughs> all right, done. There we go, we got a small, a small bear tree. It's like Charlie Brown's Christmas. Time to put holes in everything. So like cavities. <laughs> make holes in teeth. So we can stack them. Do you want me to help you find center? I mean, you're not even on the center. I don't think center. Time for the magic. My lovely assistant. Bam! All right. Looks good. Looks good, let's put yours together. All right, looks good. Pretty good. This copper foil was kind of a headache. It was definitely a learning lesson, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, now let's add some accents. Accents! Like some French accents, some Italian accents, some German accents. No, I was going to make a bow for mine. Jamaican accents? Jamaican me crazy with these pumpkins. Yes. 
Step five, we decorate with accents. And I'm gonna attach my bow. Does my bow match my flowers? I don't think it does now. Do I need black flowers? I think I need black ones. Yep. Black ones. Oh no, you can't. Mine's gonna be a lot easier. Oh, he's gotta look at people. Yeah. Voila! Can you guys even see my bird up there? <laughs> Garrett down below. Vote for Kim. And we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>